I couldn't help myself, but I had to bring you a 12 days of Christmas kettlebell style. But even if you don't have a kettlebell, you could use a dumbbell or any object that you've created at home, or if you're going to the gym, or even if it's a small, tiny child that you use for some of these exercises that you've been doing at home. You see me in some of these videos where the kids are jumping on my back, I'm push-ups, I'm doing presses, whatever. Anywho, without further ado, I'm gonna try as quickly as possible just to demonstrate these movements. If you have any questions about them, I'll provide some links below, you can reach out. So I'm just gonna demo them, make them as quickly as possible, and here we go with 12. You may be familiar with some, you may be not. But if you're not familiar with the concept of the 12 days of Christmas, it's just like the song. So you're gonna start at day one, which is Turkish get-ups. You'll do one rep on each side, and then you go two squats, then you go back to the Turkish get-ups, so just like this song. So today you're down here at eight, which is windmills, so you're gonna do eight windmills, then you go back to seven, kettlebell toe judges, six, five, four, three, two, one, you just keep working your way up and then back down the list. Again, if this confuses any of you, reach out, or go ahead and listen to 12 Days of Christmas and just input the exercises. So here we go, day one. Turkish get-ups, you've seen these done in a lot of different ways. I will show you how I like to do them. Bent knee, same arm, same leg, 45 degree angle on this leg and this arm. I'm using this heel and this elbow to press up. Try to keep your eye on the kettlebell. So up and then just go back the way you came. As far as weight, it's kind of relative depending on your levels, but you definitely want to challenge yourself with this workout. Should be one of those workouts where all you need is this workout. So think about that. So that is your Turkish get-up. You will do both sides. Then you go into just two goblet squats. Now, if you have heavier weight or you have multiple weights, of course, you can totally use that. Then you've got three snatches. So if you're not familiar with snatches, thumb on this side, and it's just whipping it to the sky. So I see these done wrong a lot of times. I see a clean, or I see somebody pull it too far out in front of them where it bangs the back of the arm. Think high pull, and all we're doing is quick turn to the elbow. So you'll do three each side. Then you got four kettlebell halos. You can do four total or four each side, depending on the weight of your bell. And that's all we're doing. Just these halos around the head, okay? Great shoulder, great mobility. I had to throw that in, because we are flex MP. And then bilateral press. So just like this, Bilateral press. So we're doing five of those today. And then six total clean to a diagonal lunge. So we throw in these function, funky functional one. So a clean, same idea, thumb side, clean, diagonal or Cossack lunge. And you're just going to do six total here. So three each side. From there, we got seven kettlebell toe touches. So a little bit of abs thrown in. Take your kettlebell, pick your feet up in the air, and just reach, reach, seven, and then eight windmills. Hope you're still with me. Still with me, Erlen? Eight windmills like this. We've shown these on here before. Have your hands from your feet, straight line, toe out here. It's a great hinge move. Again, great strength, great mobility. Just pushing that butt out. Again, you should feel a stretch in your hamstring not in your lower back. From there, nine Russian twists, and this is both sides. So just like this, just rotating, touch, touch, touch. Couple pointers on that one. I get asked a lot, do I need my feet up in the air? I'm usually not a fan of it, because technically that might be pulling your lower back, so keep that, those feet down, and just touch. And if your eyes follow whatever weighted object, and lean back to feel tension. Now, if you're somebody that has prone back issues, honestly, what I would just recommend is something like this, like half kneeling, and just add some rotation like that. Okay, almost there, 10 kettlebell swings. And again, depending on your weight, this could be 10 each side single, since you're almost getting to the end of this workout, or just 10 bilateral. And then we got 11 thrusters, so that's just that squat press. And then we've got 12 kettlebell push-ups. So you only have to do this one last. And then you're back down that list. So again, 12 days of Christmas. Depending on your level, it should be about a 45 to an hour workout. So this takes a little bit longer. Make sure, make sure you warm up. And if you're not sure how to warm up, we have about, I think, eight to 10 different warm-up videos on FlexMP. Literally just type in FlexMP warm-up. And again, if you have any more questions, 
If you need anything from us, please feel free to reach out. Don't give up, try your best, and have fun. Well, thanks for checking out videos just like these. Remember to click on notifications below to stay up to date to all these videos that we post throughout the week. And make sure you like, share, and subscribe because you never know how a video like this might not only help yourself, but help others out there as well. You could really help an individual. And if you like workouts like these or want something more like this going into 2021, definitely contact us today. There's a link for that. And if you don't have a pair of T-Rex straps, there's a link for that too to get a discount. We're here to just help you move better, feel better, and live better. Well, thanks for tuning in. Take care.